I was lucky enough that I got to meet you when you came to Missouri on your retreat. And I got to hang out with you um, with Sherry and another practitioner. That was awesome. Um, so what prompted you to decide to come uh, spend a few days with in Missouri with Sherry? Yeah, I feel lucky too. I feel like it was really awesome because I got to see Sherry and meet you and the other practitioner. Well, what really prompted me was knowing that there was an opportunity in the first place. I felt like it was not just about me going to session, but actually immersing myself in the experience. I've never been to Missouri, so I was like, oh, I, I, I don't think I would have ever thought to come to Missouri if I didn't know anyone. So I was just motivated to really, as she said, like experience the magic in person and just know that I would be going to a place where I would be taken care of, where I would be safe and where I would have a more in-depth weekend with answering really hard questions and doing some more self-reflection. Gotcha. I know um, when I did quantum therapeutics, like some of our sessions, uh, even when I did it, were online. But and, and we were able to really do it effectively, even if I wasn't in person with her. But there is, you know, a different level of connecting when you can you know, be in each other's presence and meet other people, a person that have done quantum therapeutics and stuff like that. Those were some of my guesses at what it may have been like for you or like what the pluses were. But um, what did, what types of what type of things did you do while you were here? I definitely agree with you when you say that, though, because it felt like I was going into the community and the collective. There was a couple of things that I did. I I did a really good job of not documenting everything, which is what's something that Sherry was helping me with. So the things that I can remember that we did were going on the horse ride, horse riding, connecting with the horse and getting to know them and doing the nature walk with that. Another thing was we went on this trail that was connecting the water from different parts of Missouri and walking the dogs. Another thing I did was the sound bath. Another thing was doing like, little sessions here and there so there were moments when sherry was like okay we're gonna sit and we're gonna talk and some other things were having meals at different restaurants exploring downtown missouri so i got in to go into different stores just to get some stuff to bring back with me that i felt like were had like the protective energy so just things for the backyard and things for me personally and then some other things was staying in a hotel, but then staying in a bed and breakfast before then. I actually had never done that before. So that was really special to me. And I'm trying to remember, it was like a lot. And the thing is normally when I go on trips like that, I get very obsessed with documenting what I did at what time during the day, which is one of my symptoms of OCD, but it actually was more present. So like I did a lot and I felt like it was really tailored to me specifically. That's all. Awesome. And I imagine like just having her physical presence. Um, prob did it open feel? <clears throat> let's see if I'm talk. Did it help you feel encouraged to not document or like just having her um, walk alongside you in person? Um, just yeah. to help you stay in the moment. It definitely did. Like also seeing you and the other practitioner said, I. I wasn't as obsessed with also, I also digitally hoard. So I often will take a lot of photos and videos when I travel, but I was really present. And I think it's Sherry didn't even really have to say anything. Like she didn't have to remind me yeah. and she didn't have to say anything. It was more so like knowing that I was actively with her and with all y'all, it made me, I just like felt the need, like I don't need to take a picture of every meal or take a picture of every store that I see. I can just enjoy the meal enjoy walking into the store and just and just be in the moment because I, I also felt like sherry gave me a lot of moments to have rest so there was times where i could just like lay down or just like reflect a bit i also sometimes will physically write too much so i made sure not to like write every single thing and then it, it was more so just like having time to rest and she would give me time to process and debrief and then we would meet up again yeah, it's, you got to have a like, you got to have a lot of different experiences. It sounds mm -hmm. like. Yes. And I thought it was really cool when we got together, you know, toward the end of your retreat and celebrated and 
and did music. Like, what do you think of that time that we circled up? I thought it was it was very. I'm trying to find because there's so many words that I can say. I'm gonna say I felt like it was. I don't want to say magical again because I already said that. I felt like it was a closing, but a beginning at the same time, if that makes sense. Because I felt like I was surrounded by people who understand what I've gone through, even if we didn't share share like everything in detail. Because there was the music, and I know you were drumming and saying lyrics that really resonated with me as an activist. And then I, I even got to dance a little bit. Normally in spaces like that, I feel like I have to dance when everybody else is dancing. But I felt like I kind of wanted to dance by myself without any fear and it was cool that i felt like i was kind of explaining to y'all what i did because i wanted to invite y'all to dance with me because i feel like normally when i am dancing it's usually with a group and it's kind of like we're almost still kind of performing in a way for each other but in this case it was more so like i feel really moved to move even if it's just me and i felt like i could invite y'all to be a part of it so i felt like that last night was also good because I got to share a little bit again and all three of you got to sort of give me like some some tools and techniques and you all had recognized some things that I was saying or doing throughout the weekend that I could still work on so that was really helpful too because it was like a celebration and it was also kind of like a this is what we learned together this is what y'all learned from me and then this is what can can happen moving forward yeah, and you really seemed like comfortable in your skin. I mean, I know I hadn't met you in person, you know, before your retreat, but um, yeah, I just observed that about you. <clears throat> like you just seemed really present and um, it was cool to, to watch you dance. And I get what you're saying. It wasn't really a performance. It's like we were just in the moment and sharing and connecting, um, like making medicine out of the the music and the dance together. Yeah, and that's how I felt. I felt like it was really a lot of energy healing that I haven't really done before and that I was looking forward to because I don't think I had mentioned I also had the tarot card reading. I was with the crystals. I was with different animals. I I even got to see the campus. I, I remember Sherry said that there was other things that I could do nearby. And it just felt like even though it was my first time in, in Missouri, I just felt like it was a lot of the moments with all of us and then a lot of moments outside of that where it did feel like I was in the moment and present. What was your favorite part, would you say? Oh, my, that's such a hard, my favorite part, like out of the whole weekend. Mm. Or that's one hard. of them, if you one have to them, say yeah. the favorite, because I know that I'm glad it's hard because that means <clears throat> that you were feeling yeah. a lot of it. Yes. Mm. I think I would say it was my first I'll say like generally my first day when I first arrived and I had seen Sherry before she saw me. I feel like I'm going to cry <laughs> because she was waiting outside her car and I think she thought I was going to come from the other side, but I, I just like saw her first and I felt like it was, I was like, oh, it's finally happening. And then as we were in the car, it was just really cool to see the signs of the famous places in Missouri because I, I knew some people just from like the state of Missouri and around it. So I was like, oh, that's that city that that person was from and seeing a lot of the green, really just being in the nature and the scenery. And Missouri is really nice because as y'all know, I like live in North, I live right outside of New York City. So it's a lot more concrete buildings and stuff like that that I'm surrounded by. And I can name one specific moment was the big tree. So I didn't know about this tree. So this is kind of like, this was, um, so it's sort of related to my first day when I just saw all the physical scenery around me. But another favorite moment off of that is the big tree, like knowing it was struck down by lightning, but there is a whole effort to save it and it's still like another survivor. So yeah, I didn't know until coming to Missouri, there was so much more beauty to see in there. Yeah, so um, after you got back home, maybe took a little time to reflect and just think about the retreat or what it was like, what would you say was your main takeaways? Like mm -hmm. from the experience, the main things that you either remember most or impacted you the most or that you got. Yeah, I have from a couple. Yeah, that's a good question. So 
when I got back, I remember I had a remote day the next day, so I was able to go home and kind of just relax. Usually after a trip, I like shower and take a, a while to unpack. But I'm getting like three. The first takeaway is that I'm not alone. Sometimes I I feel really alone, even though I know that I'm not. But a lot of the anger and bitterness and resentfulness and spitefulness takes that up. So I always feel like I'm just alone in all this negativity and in the dark. But one of my biggest takeaways is no, I have Sherry and you, Jessica, and the other practitioner Sid. And the other people that I met, that shows that like we may have had trauma, traumatic experiences, but there's still a community or collective in us healing together. So that was one takeaway. Another takeaway is learning how to go with the flow, even if there's no no set schedule or itinerary. So typically, when I travel, I'm pretty strict with like I want to do this, 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 this. I have to do this, 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 this. And I was on another trip before Sherry's. That was another retreat, but I like I enjoyed it. But it was very like planned, and a lot of us on that retreat had shared that we didn't feel like we didn't. And so that was like another retreat at another through another thing that a lot of us had felt that there was not enough breaks and it was overwhelming and a lot. But my takeaway from this retreat was that it's okay not to. Have things planned and just kind of be open to what Sherry is offering for me. And then another takeaway is there's so many ways of healing that I've never really done before or learned before that really work. So I didn't mention this before, but Sherry also had me do yoga, and she was a trauma informed yoga teacher, which I really enjoyed, and I was really glad because we also had conversations about social justice. Sherry had me do a、uh, well. Sherry's、uh, daughter offered for me to do the bar class, and that was really cool because that was really hard. But I just saw other strong women doing this with me, and I felt really empowered. And so, the takeaway that engaging in different types of activities does help my body and my mind. So, even again with the crystals, the tarot cards, being with the dogs, the sound bath, the meditation, having it was like a lot of moments of silence. Where music or movement was really helpful for me. So those are my three takeaways out of like、And、the many. <laughs> right, that's awesome. I know this is kind of a similar question, but after you got home,、um, what was different?、Mm. Oh yeah, it's a big one. I think after I got home, what was different was I just felt more open. I felt more like I was in a role where I could receive things or. Taken things, if that makes sense. So I felt like before the retreat, I I was like, okay, I'm learning these great things. I'm doing well, but there was still a little bit of me that was like closed off or guarded. So I felt like after the retreat, I felt more like just like a new sense of me was opened, or like a new sense of me was was finally showing. I feel like I was it was kind of hidden, and then it, it was able to be brought out after the like from the retreat after the retreat. Yeah, because like I feel connected to you, you know, so much more because <laughs> we got to you know see each other in person.、And、so、yes. I'm glad that you know coming here, you know, did that for you. I get what you're saying. Like, came you know, because at times it can be hard for different reasons to receive from others. Yeah, especially because I a lot of the things I would like. I think I was probably most nervous about the horseback riding because I've only done it twice before. So that's an example where. Sherry offered it to me as an activity, and we also did it during the sun, the sunrise. I should mention. So that was really cool. I got to see the sun rising and everything. And that was an example of, you know, typically when I travel or go somewhere, that's not something that's on the top of my list. That maybe I would really like to go to a museum, or really like to do some. It's funny because I'll do things like rock climbing, but like something something about that. But I felt like I was like, okay, this is new, but. After that, I, was, I could kind of see how okay, I'm more open to being in a part of those activities that I might have not might not have thought of before. Definitely,、mm-hmm. I don't have a lot of experiences with horses myself, but <laughs> the ones that I have had, you know, if you know when you ride them, at least from what I gathered, you really gotta 
you're going to do better if you're in your body. And there's like a communication that happens because horses are so intelligent and just this amazing creature. And so um, I bet that was awesome because you all rode a couple times, though you said? Yeah, well, no, we rode for a couple of hours. It was a really a long couple hours. And the thing is, I was like, oh, I could actually, I feel like I could actually do this even longer. But I was grateful because it was early in the morning and we had so much time. I was like, oh, wow, like we they really gave us. And even just all the other activities, I felt like it was really tailored to me. And it was really like, because sometimes I when I do activities or travel or retreats, it's usually like a group thing and i would have definitely enjoyed that too but i felt i definitely felt really spoiled <laughs> i was like oh like this is really like i get to ask all the questions and i get to kind of have the focus on me so that's what i really appreciated because sherry did a great job of like having me connect with you and sid and like family and people in the restaurant and people in the store people at the different places the teachers and then besides Aside from that, I could also have like one on one and been individualized attention from them. But I also feel like because of this retreat that I had with Sherry, I also would be also comfortable in a group, a group setting or like a group retreat. So you feel like the <clears throat> the activities that she had planned for you catered to certain things you've been dealing with <clears throat> through the quantum therapeutics up to when you came. Is that what I hear you saying? Like, yeah, it was definitely a mixture of things that I asked for because I had asked for like yoga, massage. Oh, because Sherry also had given massage as well because I, I felt like I got hurt. I was I had a, a bad back injury a couple months ago and then I had like my neck hurt during the retreat. So she gave that too. So I felt like it was a good mix of, hey, these are things I want. Massage, yoga, tarot reading, working with crystals, working with the pendulum. But then she also contributed activities that she felt like would be good for me. So I felt like, you know, the horseback riding, the sound bath, the eating at different restaurants and meeting you instead. I was like, oh, I, I didn't know this was also happening. This is really cool. Like that, those were things that she had thought of for me. And even like the trail, walking the dogs, being by the water, just doing like all those different activities was also it was a great balance. Awesome. Well, thanks again, Christy Nicole, so much. Um, your contribution here is really invaluable. It's going to be really helpful. Thank we you. Appreciate you taking the time, and you know we'll see you again soon. I'm sure. Yeah, I feel like especially because when I do, I end up going back to the place eventually. Like even if I go there once, I end up going like a second or a third time. Yeah. And I feel like seeing y'all again in Missouri would be. Would you want to come really back good. to Missouri? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And we'd love to have you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would love that too. It was maybe someday we'll have a big like in person conference with lots and lots and lots of people. You yeah, and that's what I'm sorry. I said you never know. Yeah, and that's something that I would be really excited for because I feel like I would be coming still from just like the New York City area and bringing my experiences and being able because even on just the app, like I already feel like I connect to a lot of people on the app. I know I've mentioned it a couple of times, but just the way that all of you are able to build community is really great. Cause I feel connected. I felt connected through the app and virtually, but then also connected when I was in Missouri. And yeah, it was just really cool. And I felt like a lot of things that happened there, like just meeting random people, them telling me about Missouri and the history. It was like all really meant to be and it all, it all really aligned, I would say. Perfect. Really there is no stress and i've been lucky i've been on a lot of different trips and retreats and conferences but i have to be honest that this is probably one of my favorite ones <laughs> um, wonderful yeah i'm so glad to hear that it seemed yeah. like it was not that i know what your other travel experiences were like but from how you were how radiant you were when you were here and Aww. everything you're saying right now you know? yeah th thank you yeah and it was when i was like i felt radiant i felt like shiny i felt like yeah as I had, I couldn't think of what the words were, but that's how I felt. Like I felt like yeah. I, was, I was like this. <laughs> you were. Oh, you thank are. You. oh, thank you for saying that too. Mm. All right, dear. Well, thanks again, and we'll. I'm getting a little teary eyed too. We oh. love you. Oh, you could tell I was getting teary eyed. Well, you said earlier when you were talking that you were. But yeah. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, I thought, I didn't know if it was showing again right now. No, I, was... I think so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll see you again soon, okay? Yeah, we'll see you. Oh, did I make you teary eyed or were you just getting teary eyed in general? <laughs> <laughs>
Well, yeah, just thinking about, you know, I'm just so happy to get to do quantum therapeutics and to meet you and just different people and just how everything is growing and yeah. I'm just happy for you. I just feel connected to you. So. I feel that too. And I feel like that's because we've only known each other for a couple of days at there and now a couple of weeks. So. As Maybe only, down the road we'll like do some dance together. We can make yeah. some stuff with dance for QT. Yeah, I love that. I'm, I've loved doing that in the other work that I do. So definitely willing to do for QT. And I'm glad that we could share like laughs and tears together. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. May there be more. Okay, sounds good. All right, lady. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Thanks again. Yeah, thank you, Jessica. Have a good rest of your day. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.